Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Steve from SW Recipes, and now that autumn's here, it's time to get the slow cooker out. Today, I'm going to show you how I make my slow cooker Highland beef stew. Now, this is an easy dish to make. You can do your prep at night, you can do your prep in the morning. It is entirely up to yourself. Have your slow cooker run all day long. It's about two pence per hour, I believe. So it's a nice, cheap way of uh, making a great meal for the evening and all the hard work's done for you because it cooks during the day. So, let's give it a go. So the first thing we need to do is turn our slow cooker onto the high position. We need to do that for about 20 minutes to let it warm up. After that, we're going to start prepping our veg. I'm going to start with the suede, which I'm going to peel and then cut up into little biteable chunks. I'm going to do exactly the same with the carrots and with the onions. Peel and de-skin the garlic cloves. Uh, if you give them a little crush, not too much though, with a knife, it will be easy enough for them to peel off. I like to thinly slice my garlic for this dish, but you don't have to do that. If you want to use a garlic press or a crusher, that's also okay. When it comes to your choice of potatoes, I like to use uh, baby new potatoes, but of course, there are many good varieties out there. Maris Piper do exceptionally well in this dish, so really it is up to you and your preference. Cut them into good sized chunks and add them to the bowl. Okay, to make our stew, lid off, our pan's been on for 20 minutes warming up and just add our potatoes, our onions, our carrots and our swede to our pan and then <coughs> we can add our, our Angus beef steak. This is very lean with most of the fat removed. There's a little bit there as you can see but most of it has actually gone. You just got to stir through a little bit just to evenly distribute and then I've got some beef stock here. Now this beef stock is simply made up from no beef stock but from no beef stock pots, that's the ones I use. Obviously you can use whichever ones you like. And the only other thing I've done to this is I've added one teaspoon of corn flour, a little bit of Worcester sauce, a fair amount of salt, some freshly ground black pepper. Again, be very generous with it. Give that a little stir through. Okay, so there you go. And then the last thing I like to do is add two or three bay leaves and a little bit of dried thyme. Just a teaspoon of dried thyme. So, lid back on and we'll leave that for seven hours. Hi guys, welcome back. It has now been seven hours, so our Highland beef stew and our slow cooker should just about be done by now. So let's take a look. It's just lightly bubbling away there. I'll put this lid over here for now. Let's take a look at what we're left with. Give it a little stir. Oh, look how thick that is. That is beautiful and really dark, really rich. Let's get some on this plate so we can have a little look at it. Look how dark that is. We'll just get rid of the bay leaf because we don't want that. And I think I think we're very happy with that. So all that's left to do really is to uh, to have a little taste. So. Let's find out what she's like. Mm. They are so soft. And this beef.
that just melts in your mouth. The beef has a beautiful flavour. The potatoes they still actually taste a little roasted, even though they're not. They've been boiled for a very long time or cooked for a very long time, but the flavours are absolutely fantastic. So, give this a go yourself. Let me know how you get on. Leave me a picture if you like, or maybe just a, a little uh, note on the bottom of the website. Uh, you can get to our website at swrecipes.co.uk and if you're on our YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and click that little thumbs up button so that we actually get notified about it. Until next time, keep cooking.